Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are playing with only one basic heart shaped stamp. Now everybody has the solid stamp as the Valentine's Day are there or you can use uh, any other stamp you have. You can use this technique for the circle ones, you can use the triangle ones, whatever solid stamp you have, you can use it. So I have this stamp with the salmon says and it says candy hearts and it's a long time ago I have this. So and another thing I have is this hero art colorful ink. So what they have they have the stripes of ink inside and i was like this year i was i decided that i will use whatever i have with me um because i'm already buying so much stuff and my craft room is flooded by the way i'm here in the colorado uh and today we see the i most almost in my life i never see so today we have the temperature like minus 24 fahrenheit and it's freezing cold here but that doesn't stop the crafting okay so i put out this stamp here and I just do some of these. Um, these are this is the texture paper I did it on it, so you can see the double texture on it. Uh, but this is just my trial, and I really liked it. And then I make um, envelopes with it in the last video, and then I decided to give it a try and make a card out of it. This is the card base. You can just you have to put any sentiment on it, and it's ready to go. Um, you don't have to do much because it's already having much in it. Uh, so let's make this. So I just cut out the. Uh, papers here so I cut out this 9 nine by 12 sheet in the four papers these is the watercolor paper by Canson then I have this hero art ink so now the thing is if you want the random places now this stamp base is quite a big one you can see you can have two three inks and I will also show you if you don't have this ink how you can do so in the first thing what will we do we will just grab the these and so you can see so every time I stamp it I am gonna just clean it with the first the chamois and then I will uh, clean it with the rag so that my colors will not uh, go now here I'm not much concerned about the things now if you do the same thing on the not the watercolor paper on the other color paper that will give you a different effect that will they, they are more prominent than watercolor effect i'm not stamping them again and again if you want you can use the misty i will show you all the ways of getting this stamp here and how you can create the things out of them so here i'm kind of going in the rainbow fashion and you can see uh, that we get the two-tone stamp when i align that stamp here but what if i uh, my <coughs> i align it different way like rather than stamping this I hope you can see this straight line middle I can just go and make a this kind of triangle then it will give you that kind of triangular effect again uh, I'm wiping down because I don't want to contaminate the ink here and you can see that so basically I'm doing the same thing um, I'll just speed up the process I'll just speed up the process so here I'm just stamping it in the repetitive fashion and doing the same thing. Each time I'm cleaning my stamp, you can do the same thing with the misty also. And I will show you how to do that to make a one layer card. So just grab your misty, put your card base here. I'm using Nena sort of white card base. Nothing fancy, same hero art ink. Uh, you can use the ink cubes also for this kind of technique. And then I will use same the repetitive fashion technique here to make uh, the pattern of that heart stamp you can go ahead and use another shape uh, so also. that we can stamp on, uh, so that we can stamp on the same thing again and again now make sure that your stamp is really clean now you can get a grid line um, for yourself here or what you can use you can use the grid lines um, on the misty itself to get that look or there is another stuff like there are the mystery grid lines i don't know where is mine so <laughs> it happens or you can just put up um, scale mark and then you can decide that where you want to put so if you don't find your s stuff it's okay it's still okay <laughs> we will not stop making the stuff and this is another way to you know get the things done or you can use these misty grids here okay or these misty grids so i want here itself and i can just pick that stamp and what uh, happened with this you can stamp the image multiple times but in this case you can't use this one because you don't know like you can push it once and you will get a once but if you want to use other colors uh, like if you have the small ink cubes small ink cubes or always always uh, work awesome and i have lots of them they came with the kits to test the colors and basically i love them i keep them uh, with me just like that i have lots of them in the hero arts and others also so here we will choose the palette first and then we will stamp uh, those ink maybe some of them will not work 
because they are like pretty old other thing is that you can use your distress ink cubes also so i'm going to choose this lavender color the pink colors from and yellow colors and maybe teal will be more kind of uh, it's too much so i will not use teal but i can have this color and i after choosing all this color i will just uh, now you can go ahead and make a cherry red heart shape also um i will just use what i have so here i'm using it in the first one we will do the yellow so i just put the yellow ink on half one and other half you can use the orange or pink or you can use the shades of yellow also one is dark one is light like here and then we will just stamp it and press it really nice and still we didn't get that hue on this side so we can again add another color on there and we now i'm working here directly on the card base uh, if you are not comfortable with that you can skip it and you can you know uh, use the other paper and then you can add that paper afterwards to the card base so i'm talking about this kind of grit this will really help to align your stamps as well as other things so now after doing that make sure to you know erase it and then put it cause uh, erase it why cause you need to put that uh, thing clean while putting on that and then you can remove this and then you have to repeat the process so maybe i'll choose pink here let's see so you don't have to use the same colors i'm using you can use any color you want just make sure you like your colors or you can use full thing in only two colors um, like same heart shape each time and this one is not that good because maybe my ink is dried but you can use the same technique to um, on the watercolor papers also i'm going to speed up that process and this process also and then you will get a full card where you can little bit spritz on it and that will give you a really really um, what do you say a really nice um, mix media look these are more cleaner look so after this i will forward the process but i will show you the full process how i'm going to proceed in this uh, card making So here I create a kind of flower kind of circular pattern. You can go ahead, go crazy and create whatever pattern you want. If you use different shapes together, you can repetitively uh, stamp them and you will get another pattern. So here you can do like n number of techniques with this. Just find what you have. You don't have to do it with the same stamps I'm using. You can use whatever you have in your stash. Line stamp will also do for this technique. And then you can color them. Um, that will give a different kind of effect. So now I just take one uh, water bottle, uh, it's kind of spritz one and you can just spritz it on it. So if your paper is watercolor paper, it's going to fade a little bit and those going to blur inside. And if this paper is not watercolor paper, you will still get that blur effect, but uh, like that one. So I want to show you both. And this is the easiest way to create that blur background where there are hard, no hard watercolor effect. If you're not good in watercolor, you can do this kind of technique. I really, really love to do that in many ways so background is not prominent now he, this is the spellbinders flowery kind of dye i have but i'm gonna link the same kind of one 
you can go ahead to my blog and see all the details and image and what similar products you can use these are the hero art acetate i gonna cut them in a half and i will not bother to cut the rest of it because it is just transparent it just gave the sturdiness to that uh, frame this frame is already decked out with me uh, when i do the um, i think christmas projects i use lots of them in my albums and uh, other things you can go ahead and watch those projects on my channel also and then here i am trying to make a shaker card out of it i use the this strippy dry um a strippy kind of foam uh, tapes from the scrapbook.com i really love them i just double up them you can double up them before and then you can add whatever you feel good uh, there are many ways to do the same things and then i'm just removing them and putting inside all that uh, shaker things i want before that i put the anti static powder and then i sometimes i do that and then i line up the card and then i decided oh how it will not work that way i have to put it and so i dump all of those um, shaker things inside here i'm using small hearts and some of the shaker components from the spell binders or uh, you can use whatever you have i'm just telling if you want to use the exact same one and basically this small heart shape is this kind of a nail art one thing and i bought them from amazon and they are much cheaper that way uh, so you can also find my trick this love die is from hero arts and i dug it out it from the shimmery card stock now the shimmery card stock is from recollections all of these and you can find them in the michaels i mostly use the michaels paper i don't have any problem for the ears now and this die is also from the Samson's heart shape die and that heart shape is a little bit kind of matching with that so i decided to put that and then i'm going to frame it with this um pinkish purplish color of the die i use to rectangle dies to cut out this frame i don't have this frame die but you if, if you have you can use that now next one is the love die this is from the i love you die from the samson's and i use the love word this hugs is also from samson's and both strips are from spellbinders so you can see that lots of time i do mix and matching whatever i have i didn't stick to one brand um so that i have a different combinations all together and that frame is looking so so beautiful um with all that heart petal flower this u dye is also from salmon says i just want to add a little bit of shadow with the white so that it gonna pop up on that easiest way to do is just uh, cut it out with a, any heavy base card stock or whatever you feel good for you at that moment and then just stick them together i didn't um you know <laughs> do much fancy techniques i'm a very a very homely girl i love to do this way the simple things and it worked for me and i hope it worked for you also so this you die and this card is you can use for any occasion you don't have to put it for the valentine it's kind of a become a occasion cards and you can put any sentiment on them and then i'm just um adding those heart which is the left over and cut out from those heart shape uh small thin <coughs> dag it out and these are just negative from those which is kind of hanging out there and i'm just using that so most of the times i use whatever i have at that moment and um, it gonna turn out really really well and then i think this is the completion of all the card just adding that uh, first like heart shape more thing i just add the glossy accent and after dyeing out uh, dyeing the thing not dyeing out it going to look really really beautiful and uh, these are the pictures you can see more pictures and product detail on my blog thanks for watching and sharing your time with me i really appreciate it If you love my channel do subscribe it give me a thumbs up I love to read your comments which one is your favorite card let me know or whatever you want to see more so until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye take care